Namaste and blessed be superhumans. It's Goddess Wandi here with another installment of the Empath Sex, Love, and Attraction Guide. So today we're going to be talking about spiritually transmitted diseases, STDs, but in our kind of a way. Now, empaths, as you already know, often feel and absorb the pains of others. You feel their emotion. You can feel people's pain and what's going on with them energetically. This ability can take on a whole new level when it comes to having sex with somebody. Why? The reason is your chakras, when you're having sex with someone, your chakras are aligned. When we think about our groin, the solar plexus, the root chakras, all of those energies are lined up between you and your partner. The groin represents also the emotional body of your aura. So whatever is going on emotionally is also can be contained in the groin chakra. So if your partner is experiencing some adverse emotional energies, you as an empath, you can suck that up right into your groin chakra. You know, that's the seat of our creativity. The last thing we want is that to get all toxic with someone else's emotional issues or sexual issues. The other thing, the solar plexus represents our force of will, which can make it easier for them to force their will upon you the same way they can um, energy vampires can pull your energy. They can project energy so they can pull out your force of will and they can actually replace it with their own. This can cause you to be confused. And the solar plexus also represents the mental auric body. So that can really mess you up mentally if they're messed up mentally, or if they're stressed out, it can stress you out because you're sucking up that stress, that anxiety, that mental confusion, whatever is going on in there. The root chakra represents, and that's the base of your spine. You know how you like you spoon with your partner, you know, you lay with your, your back to their chest or vice versa. Your root chakra will line up with their groin chakra. So if you're laying on your side and they're behind you, their groin chakra is lined up with your root chakra, your life force energy. And that can allow your partner to suck up that life force energy um, that you have. And even worse, you can pick up whatever negative energy or whatever may be afflicting their own life force energy. You can pick that up into your own auric field and your own chakra field. You are basically bringing someone else's energy, a direct injection into your own energetic field. The same applies with your heart chakra and your throat chakra. When you're kissing someone, your throat chakras are lined up. If you're laying with someone or hugging them, your heart chakras are lined up. So if there's something going on, if they're feeling pain in their heart from old or anger, from old relationships or whatever it is, you can suck that up. If they have um, unexpressed communication or angry communication energy stuck in their throat chakra, you can suck that up as well. So you may be saying to yourself, well, then who are we supposed to have sex with? Because everybody's got some kind of of an issue. This doesn't mean that you have to be celibate. It just means you need to be careful. Like anything else, the same way you don't want to pick up a physical sexually transmitted disease, you don't want to pick this up. So you want to be picky with your partners. You don't want to be with someone who is especially sexually irresponsible because if they're sleeping with multiple people, without protecting themselves or getting themselves cleaned up, they can be carrying all those other people's energies. And guess what? You as an empath may think that you're just getting the energy of, of one partner, 
when you could be picking up the energy of however many partners they have had. So you want to be very picky with your partner. Get to know them. You know, ask them, when's the last time you had your energy cleaned up? If they look at you like you're nuts, that's okay. Send them on their way. Better that than you pick up some really bad energy. Don't worry about scaring them away. Your soul is surrounded by your energy. You must protect your soul. You must protect the vessel of your soul. So don't worry if anyone gets offended or they think you're crazy or whatever. You have to take care of yourself. So it's okay to ask them that and defend your energetic space. You can even make a fun thing of it. You can, you know, say, when's the last time you got your energy out, cleaned up, turn it into a way to elevate their own awareness, explain things to them, explain about energy work. You can have a fun date. You can go and get your energy cleaned up together, incorporate that with a massage and dinner. That would make a great date night to get yourselves all cleaned up, get a nice massage, go have a nice meal, and then go home and get busy, as opposed to just taking chances with someone whose energy may not be harmonious with yours. Now, if you can't do that or you feel too shy to talk about someone about their energy, your other option is to limit yourself. I hate to say limit, um, but it is limiting. Limit yourself to other spiritual people who understand what you're talking about, who can you can take turns cleaning each other up, who has that knowledge. You can clean your partner up. They can clean you up. It could actually make for a really great foreplay. And then you're both cleaned up and then you can actually go ahead and engage in that energy. Now, if you can't do that or they refuse to do that and you are determined to have sex with them anyway, then at least after they've gone home or you've gone home, stop and clean yourself up right away. You can go to my video, How to Remove the Cords, Karma, and Burdens of Others, which I'll put the link in the, um, in the description of this video too, so that you can just click on that link and clean yourself up. You can also drink clove and sage tea, just, you know, cloves, you get the little clove, just one clove, because it's very strong. You can either buy sage tea bags. I've gotten them on Amazon, organic sage tea bags, or you can get the loose culinary grade sage and, um, you know, get one of those little tea thingies where you can put the loose tea in and do it that way. The sage and the cloves will, um, when you ingest it, will clean you from the inside out. Now, keep in mind, of course, you have to program, you have to tell it that you want it to clean you up and to remove and dissolve safely any and all adverse energies within you. And you can take some of the tea, put it on your chakras to clean it up and then ingest the tea. You can even uh, take a cup of it pour it in a bath and soak in it. I still suggest ingesting it to clean it from the inside out, but you still can also make a bath with that as well. So this is what um, I wanted to talk to you about today, to really be careful who it is you're engaging with. And remember, you're a superhuman. You've got these tremendous empath abilities that can allow you or will allow you to actually read the energy of the person before you sleep with them, see what they're about, feel what's going on in their heart chakra, feel what's going on in their solar plexus. This way, at least you can make an informed decision before you sleep with that person. So this has been your next installment of the Empath's Guide to Sex, Love, and Attraction and Spiritually Transmitted Diseases. Thank you so much for joining me. Please visit my website. Just put in goddessrhonda.com. It'll take you to my website if you want to set something up with me, an appointment, or just get on my mailing list, or just to ask a question. Um, you can also visit my Facebook page, also Goddess Rhonda, Snapchat, also Goddess Rhonda. Please make sure you put the D in there because there's someone else with a very similar name. 
And so I want to make sure that you get me on that on Snapchat. And you can also check out my book, You Are Not Broken, which is available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Nobles, the Albuquerque Public Library System, and the Barn, uh, excuse me, the Blue Eagle Metaphysical Emporium. So as always, thank you so much. I will talk to you again. And of course, I'm sending you lots and lots of protection and shielding against spiritually transmitted diseases. And I will see you shortly. So thank you again. Namaste and blessed be. Thank you.